we've seen Bryson Tiller as of recently do a few promo runs. Mm-hmm. Um, his last album, and I want to get it was self. It was a self titled album called yeah. Bryson Tiller. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Same. Mm-hmm. I, I think oh my we gosh, all yeah. shared the same. One of my favorite albums right? of the year. Definitely one of my favorite albums of the year. We discussed how we like Persuasion with Vic- uh, Victoria Monet and the wordplay. Mm-hmm. Ciao, Calypso. So, come on, mm-hmm. come Calypso's on. Calypso's fire. Calypso is one of them That's ones. The one. That's the one yeah, for me. Yeah. Come on now, and. Before he released this album, he released the anniversary to Trap Soul. Yep. Mm-hmm. And again, that was very reminiscent of the songs from Trap Soul. Mm-hmm. Now, the three of us here are relatively around the same age. And Savon has a clip that he's going to play in two seconds. Because the press runs that I've been seeing Bryson Tiller in, you know, we've always heard how he was an introvert mm-hmm. and how he's a bit to himself, etc., so after watching him on The Breakfast Club and just snippets of the Joe Budden podcast, I think he's a little bit confused about how we perceived him. So could you play that, please? When were you aware that Trap Soul was like a genre-defining classic? <laughs> like two, actually, I would say like, man. Was it in the like heat of it? Like four years. Or was it after? Like, yeah, it was like three, four years after. After. What is he talking yeah, about? It definitely wasn't. <laughs> and that's what be bothering me when people be like, oh, no, it was, uh, when it She's came out, it was this and that, it was that. I'm just like, no, it wasn't. You know what I mean? I was there. I remember people uh, be forgetting, man. They be forgetting that I, nah. you know what I, mean? like I saw all the same shit they were seeing. But um, yeah, yeah, that was what I was struggling with for the most part. That's why I went in kind of into a depression because I was like, damn, I built up so much energy trying to make that album. Finally dropped it. Got a lot of, a lot of hate for it. You know what I'm saying? And just people saying they was disappointed, like fans and shit. Really? Yeah, yeah. For my first album, and then um, you know, saw some bad like articles and like, I was just it just fucked me up. Oh, what like, you talking about? Like release week? Yeah. Yeah, I remember release week. You it was, but that shit left I ass. Think, so I'm curious if Rice and Teller at the time. This is like 2015. I remember this vividly because I was a college student. I, it takes same. me back to college. Same. Right? Every same. time I reference Trap Soul, the same way y'all just reference college, I do the same. Yep. And I remember my route on Chipmunk Trail. Savon, know it? <laughs> Chipmunk Trail is from the goddamn student parking lot to the to the classes, for the building for the classes. Why did you guys call it Chipmunk Trail? Because they was crazy over there. It was a PWI. <laughs> you know, they're going to name shit like that over there. Um, I vividly oh, remember shit. walking down Chipmunk Trail for my classes, yeah. and Bryson was carrying me. Bro, I used to work out to Bryson, I, I, and which is crazy. Which is I don't strange. Know, which you know, strange. Salute. Strange. You did that. Salute. So, it, what, you, it, what was in your mind <laughs> when you was like, "Oh wait, maybe squatting"? Wait, no, no, no. I could, I could exactly picture uh, Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> See, yeah. When I think about yes. that album. I think about how he came into this oh my song. God. This was my favorite song. Oh my god! You about to get me tight. I ran this into the ground on Me my too. way to fail I tests. Like I all, still do. We, I bet. we all had the same experience. What? Yeah. I still we lived do. the same life. Because yeah. when this bass came on like that. Oh my God. You know what I'm, time it was? This I'm, is special. This is special. Y'all this not special. hearing me, man. The laptop in my book bag right now. <laughs> I'm on my way to Kim. And I just hit it. This is what happened when I think about you. I hit in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. Next time around, fuck, I want it to be different, yeah. This is all I said to my ex. Lord, please save her for me. Just save her for me. Do Just this one favor for me. Just one favor for me. I to change my play away. It's got way too, too complicated, complicated for me. I love Live. how Joe wore that. This is special. Oh my, oh my god! You see how we all got goosebumps yes. too? I feel it. I you feel, feel it too, right? Yes. I want to sing. I want to send this song that era, right? I want to send it to somebody. <laughs> Thank you. Like right now. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Please save her for me. <laughs> Just save her for me. Please. Please. Do this one favor for me. Do this one favor. Do you know do how know. fucked up you got to be to ask God to do one favor Facts. for me, and it's being to <laughs> yes. save her and, exactly and, for me? Like think, yeah. like fellas, real quick, close your eyes right now. Just close your eyes, please. If you're driving, please don't. If you don't got wife if you do not have a wife i need you i need you i implore you to close your eyes at this very moment and i want you to think about that one where you want god to save her to you go ahead man think about it that's deep that's real that's how i got my wife hello hello that's That's how a man that finds a wife think of of the one you want to save and then comment on our youtube and then lock it in and it's going to come true (laughs) like that's how he got his that's how i lost mine Oh shit! What oh you mean? my goodness! Oh, like, Lord, you always please, gotta take it there. Just, just, just save, save it for me. me. I get it. 
It was like an 11-11 wish. I get it. Yeah. So it makes me wonder at the time, <laughs> was Bryson listening to the kids' lives that he was changing actively? Son. Or was he changing, or was he listening to the folks that didn't understand what he was doing? Mm -hmm. Like, I love how Joe- Like bad music critics. Yeah. Exactly sure. that. Because, you know, Joe asked him, did you understand that you were creating a, a um, forget what he said. Like a, a, a genre defying. Yeah. A genre defying thing with your music. That's exactly what he did for R&B. For sure. Like the influx of the Party Next Doors, the Bryson Tillers. This is what changed R&B to what it is now. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I, I'm, I'm so curious I, and confused. I just, like, I just, I'm not really that <laughs> confused because like he, yeah. as an artist, you're like hypersensitive. He's like really self-conscious about putting out his work. I right. feel like a little bit of imposter syndrome, just everything. Yeah. Of course he didn't realize how amazing yeah. his music was. And like, he, you know, that's crazy he also said me, on, the, on the Breakfast Club interview, he said he was dealing a lot with depression. Mm -hmm. So I could almost see how Dealing with a lot mentally could kind of alter his perspective of his own music. Of what's happening, bro? During twenty seventeen to twenty one, I was like, out like I was saying to myself, "Yo, where's Bryson at?" Right. And then he Ooh. dropped um, the deluxe. And it didn't help. It didn't help that his second album, True to Self, people also shitted on that. I remember that. That yeah, nah, was nah, so I, bad. I, I loved it, but that people was, that was warranted. No, I like I like that album. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. The Why? album did not suck out. It, it did not. She said she loved me. me. Turn, 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 me. turn that shit off. That's no, no, that was a good song. Nah. Nah. It was. He, nah, nah, that was, that's the album you get depressed for. I ain't gonna sit here. You're running me dry. Oh my god. Don't play he with had it. Don't, don't be an exchange. Shut the fuck up. Ah, this is fire. <laughs> Yo, I'm not understanding this logic. What are we talking about? Hey, I'm, I'm back, back and I'm better. better. What are we go. talking about right now? Won't you bad as ever? Don't let me just let up. Yeah, right. he didn't know. He didn't know. Wait, he hold on. Can know. we just? I know we're having a, a conversation right now, but I want to play a little game. Mm -hmm. So you know, at the end, yeah. when, it, when it's like silent, it goes, uh. "Don't." <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Whoever wants to participate, yeah. we're gonna go one by one. Whoever gets the closest wins five dollars. <laughs> like to time. I don't it know when to, it goes. Like, the do you know the minute mark or when? It's when probably we towards the end. Towards the end. Towards yeah, way it's, it's towards the end. It's like the last. I think about the camera. Fifteen right seconds. It's like an eleven second. Okay, yeah. Savon, you go first. I don't know if this is the part. Right here. It's like Dumb. 11 seconds. Fuck! I said save on the first! Uh, 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 so Alex, Alex, or should Alex we all do it at the same time? Alex just low. It's over! <laughs> Okay, no, we all do it at the same time. Alright. Alright, bet. <laughs> Who's the closest with five dollars? This, this is the part. Yes, though. yes, yes. Okay. Nah, nah. For all I got this. I got this. I got this. And yo, if you driving right now, close your eyes and do the show. Don't, don't close your eyes. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. I got it. That's crazy. I got it. Y'all not real fans. Nah, that's crazy. Wait, I got, Wait, I got confused. I, I thought we all got it. <laughs> and we dead ass did it. We were still early. <laughs> like, that's crazy. look at the moment. I think it's, it's, it's the offbeat. And it's an 11 second, it's an 11 second um, delay. Or not delay, but pause. Damn. Like, look at the, the music that I'm came with Trap I'm embarrassed so. now. No, you're good. Sure. You're good. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's had that moment. You, you deserve that embarrassment. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Alex, Alex, that's the offbeat? That's the offbeat he hits that on? I, I, he, he, just, he describes it. There's a video on YouTube you can look up right now. He tells you the amount of seconds it is. Yeah. On, I forget on, uh, what it is. The Breakfast Club interview. He talks oh, about it. Yeah. I knew I, I saw yeah, it somewhere. Yeah, I think it was It was supposed to be 12 <sighs> seconds, but yeah. it was like 11.35 because right. the engineer rushed. Like It's some real technical, scientific kind of shit that <laughs> happened. <laughs> For real, bro. Yeah, you never heard of scientific? Nah. nah. Absolutely not. You never Whatever did the science on the scientific? Nah. On Chipmunk Road, nigga. Chipmunk Trail, nigga. Oh, <laughs> Chipmunk Trail. When Not I used to bump uh, Trap Soul, okay? okay, and also too to end that, you know, <laughs> Trap Soul. No, I'm befuddled. I gotta be honest <laughs> with you. When I saw him say that, because true to self, the second sophomore album, I understand it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there were it was not it was not that bad, guys. I like it. I didn't, I didn't I'm think it was on that record. Bad. <laughs> when that album dropped, I'm not just saying this in hindsight. When that album dropped on my Twitter, I I am on record saying, like, yo, I really like this album. Okay, right, I'm so, curious so, to know what's on. the album you don't like. To, um, and, and maybe not say that shit. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot, but I just like can't find. I feel like we've talked about on this pod me not liking some albums. Roddy Rich. He didn't drop an album. No, the second one. Oh, uh, yeah, I hate that album. Okay. I was like, what the fuck is going on but here? But so, cool. sophomore albums are also really tough. Yeah, no, the sophomore and that's expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sophomore super expected. Like, and, and in comparison to Trap Soul, 
it, that's the, tough. there is no there's no argument. I'm sure there are a few songs here that bump a little bit, but there is no comparison. And Trap Soul was one of those albums early on that you could play straight through. No exactly. skip. No skips. No skip. I don't no know. Skips. I don't know where he got this theory from. You gotta get out the house sometimes. I love I love the transparency though. Yeah. And I love it's a full display of just imposter syndrome. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes we don't even realize some of the things that we're doing and some of the people that support us and mm-hmm. Some of just, you know, the impact that we have on people who support you. Like, you just don't know because all of us, for the most, most of us, I should say, maybe not all of us, because there's a lot of like industry plants and there's a lot of people who are born into, um, uh, um, you know, just resources, yeah. right? Like somebody like a Bryson Tiller, he may have put his work out there and didn't realize what it was doing in the world mm-hmm. where he had it, this nigga wearing, they, he had men wearing Nike dad caps. I remember what that. What are we talking about yeah. right now? Yo, like the dry fit ones. Like yeah, yeah, from yeah. the from the um the cover. I was one of those niggas. We was all one of them niggas. I did that. We, we all a, did that. It was a whole new How could he even get the trends he started with the type but of music just, and the style? I believe in though because What's we we we, we are the people, so we felt it. Yeah, but yeah. he he was not outside probably. It gotta like, be. That's why I'm like, were you just listening to the critics or were you listening to the people you were actually? Yeah, he's probably affecting? like online searching up what? like the music blogs. But it's and, a true yeah. indictment, like it's a true testament, a, a true case study of Imposter syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Just not feeling like I am enough. Not feeling like I'm worthy. Not feeling like I'm good enough. Niggas never wore dad caps. No, not at all. Like Not for flying. But he's in that moment. All he's doing. Because he's Crazy. thinking about the time he got rejected by a girl at a party. Because that's yeah. his lived experience. He's not worried about all the people he's affecting. He doesn't know how to. Like he said it so many times. Like, yo. And shout out to just him doing press mm-hmm. because I respect it. one of the things, the artists of the Bryson Tellers, the Party Next Doors, the Frank Oceans, that genre, a subcategory of R&B, like those guys, they don't really give us much outside of the music. Mm-hmm. Like we don't hear from them. We don't see them. They don't tweet like that. Like we don't know much about them. So Bryson Tiller going on this press run, he's opening up a little bit more yeah, sure. and he's giving us a little bit more of himself. Yeah. And one of the themes of his press run is being uncertain, being depressed, not understanding his impact, like things that we would assume Heavy on that, yeah. because we, we're just consumers. As consumers, we make assumptions of, oh shit, if you're selling a product, if you're putting a product out there and we're buying it, you must know we fucking love you. Mm-hmm. But clearly he is cl- like, he's a hey. prime example of catching lightning and trying to catch up to it. Right, mm-hmm. right. And not understanding that you caught lightning. 